Hello and welcome to the Pizza Kitchen, the On the Road Edition. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez, and today we're coming to you from the show floor of the NRA Food Show in Chicago, Illinois. We're going to be speaking with Bess Whiteman, the marketing manager for MTI Products and AutoFry. Bess, thank you so much for inviting us down here to talk with you today. Thank you so much for being here. We're really excited to have you on the floor of the NRA show and to talk to you a little bit about what we have to offer for pizzeria owners. You know, we've been in the business for 25 years we've been making this machine. It's a solidly built piece of equipment. We make everything with American-made labor and steel in our headquarters in Northborough, Massachusetts. We've got four different sizes of machines. We're the only ventless fryer that comes in four different sizes, okay. from countertops to floor models, single basket to double basket. We can really fit a wide range of kitchen needs. Okay, so uh, what size business can uh, do you guys actually cater to? Is it big corporations or small mom and pop? pizzerias, gas stations, what do you guys do? You know, honestly, we started with a lot of small businesses, mm -hmm. but now we do a little bit of everything from independent pizzerias, taverns, to big multi-unit worldwide chains. We can fit any kitchen. So the number one thing that I'm proud to say that we have to offer is reliability. These machines are so solidly built. The amount of breakdown is so minimal. They last for years and not just like a couple years, like 20 years. Wow. We've got a ton of machines out there that are over 20 years old, mm -hmm. still in operation, still cranking out fries and chicken wings. I mean, not a lot of kitchen equipment can say that. So what else do you guys offer from Auto Fry? So the next best thing that I can offer is instant profitability. You know, ah. I love to tell people with our machines, you can really just plug them in and start counting your profits. And okay, it's a little more effort than that. You have to put oil in the machine too, okay. but there's no costly hood installation. You don't have to pay $30,000 to have someone come in and put in a hood into right. your kitchen. None of that. You come in, as long as you've got the electrical out it, you plug it in, put in the oil, and you can start frying. You don't have to shut down your business. There's no loss of revenue there. Mm -hmm. You just start cranking out those fries. Plug and play, ready to go. Exactly. And that's a word we all love to hear is profitability. But you did mention, uh, along with profitability, you don't have to install all these costly safety precautions. Correct. So, I mean, how safe is this thing being hoodless? I mean, honest what is to the God, place there? it doesn't get any safer than our machine. When we built this machine, we kept safety in mind. Not just the safety of your business, but the safety of your employees. Because we all know you want to keep your employees safe. And anyone that's ever worked in a kitchen, you can tell who the fry cook is because he's got burns up and down his arms from dealing with that fryer. You're not going to have that with our machine right. because it's completely enclosed. There's no contact with hot oil. When you open up the door, if you were to do that, the whole machine shuts down. So you're never going to have an issue with burning yourself on the hot oil. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, because we did want to make sure it was safe for your business as well, there's an Ansel fire suppression system okay, and it's got two methods of operation. So there's an internal method and it should a fire break out, worst case scenario, it's going to melt this little piece and when it does, the, the fire suppression goes off. So you're putting okay. out that fire internally. Worst case scenario, that doesn't happen. There's a pull switch on the front of the machine. You just yank that and it goes off. Well, that sounds great, Bess. Why don't you show us a little bit about the uh, MTI 10X and then we can kind of go from there and maybe start frying up some foods. Absolutely. That's part of the job, right? Yes. So now we're here in front of the 10X. Uh, as you can see, we've taken the door off to give you guys a sneak peek inside how this magic machine works. So why don't you just kind of walk us through the process? It's a, it's a pretty good size. Yeah, absolutely. So this is our 10X. It's um, about two feet by two feet on your countertop. So it's not taking up a lot of space. It um, can hold 2.75 gallons and can cook up to four pounds of food at a time. So it can wow. really crank out a lot of food and not take up a lot of space. And I do want to point out, ordinarily, if you were to open the door, this machine's not going to stay on. We've jumped the safety switch for this demonstration purposes only. So this is our keypad. It's very simple to use, just like using a microwave where you just hit your cook time, hit start, and you can go. It also can do up to 18 different presets. So if you're cooking the same items over and over, you're going to want to set up those presets. And the nice thing about our presets is you're not only setting the time, but you're setting how often you want the basket to shake while it's cooking, oh, just wow. like a fry cook would do. Right. So you can do it between 15 and 30 seconds, and every 15 seconds it's going to shake that basket, or every 30 seconds it'll shake that basket. It's also got a heat time compensation intelligence. We call it Simplify Technology. And what that does is there's a temperature probe in the oil, and it measures the amount of temperature that the oil drops when you add your food to it. Why is it doing that? Because if you cook a lot of food, the temperature is going to drop a lot, which means you're probably going to have to cook it in the oil a little bit longer. Okay. So it's going to do all of that math for you. It's super smart. It's got its own little brain in there. All right, guys, now we're at the moment of truth. So what do we have in front of us today? So we've got some frozen bone-in chicken wings because every pizza place needs a chicken wing, right? It's a staple. 
We've also got some artisanal mushroom poppers. These are from McCain, which is one of our rebate partners. Okay. We've also got deep fried Twinkies. Courtesy of the USA and? McCain. And McCain. And we've also got some cheese curds from Curd Town, which is another one of our rebate partners. All right, so I guess uh, let's pick one and go for it. Which one do All you right. want to do first? Let's start with the mushrooms. All right. All right, so we're going to add these to the fryer. And like I said, it's really a three-step process. So the first step is you're going to add it to the food chute. We're going to choose a cook time for this item. This one in particular is 90 seconds. So we're just going to type in 90 seconds here. Hit start. Toss it into the fryer. At this point, you really could just walk it, walk away and you know let it do its own thing. But for the sake of the show, let's show you what's going on inside. Da -da -da. So now we've got we can see the oil bubbling and it does its first shake. So this is making sure that none of that product sticks. Like I said, it is like having your own fry cook. Um, so you want that, you know, making sure that nothing sticks. Okay. Twelve second wait time to let the oil drain, and they all came out perfectly that time. We don't even need that second shake. And as you can see, the oil, the temperature is already recuperating. It's gone up four degrees in the last couple seconds, even before that was actually dumped into the, the holding tray. So that's great, great recovery time. All right. So next up, let's do our deep fried Twinkies. Just gonna add these to the food hopper. These Deep are fried Twinkies, my gosh. Right? These are gonna cook for three minutes and 30 seconds. Again, just like a microwave, you choose the cook time, hit start, dump them in. And once again, with that Teflon coated basket, it didn't even need that second tap. Exactly. All right, next item. We've got cheese curds. These are coming from Curd Town. They're Curd one of Town. our rebate partners. All right, so we're popping it in there. Add it to the hopper. What are these cheese curds good for? Oh just my the gosh. Or? They're good just on their own, but they're also a great pizza topper. I mean, you can use them in a number of different ways. I've seen them on top of burgers. Oh, it's wow. a real deluxe nice. burger. So, last up, we have our bone in chicken wings. All right, and as you can see, we got our temperature up. It's floating a little high. Uh, which is nice. We, we were actually looking for 375, so it gets up to that temperature, it still goes a little bit, and as the heating element cools down. Yeah, so for these, we're going to do them for 10 minutes, so I'm just going to type that in on the keypad. Okay. Hit start, add them to the fryer. You hear that one, huh? And boom, 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 they're done. Those look fantastic. So, we're still filming here. This show has opened now, but now we have finally got all of our platters ready to go. Uh, this show gets crazy, it so does. at this point we're having to fight these people off because they want to eat this food because it looks so good. But you know what? They got to wait because now it's my turn. All right? right. What do we have here first? These are our cheese curds from okay. Curd Town. Tell you what, I'm just going to eat one as is to see how it is. Go for it. Mmm, still soft, soft cheese, still crispy on the outside. And once again, it's not very greasy, which is that nice thing about yep. letting it drain there. Absolutely. So, what do we have here now? These are our portobello mushroom poppers from McCain. Uh, once again, and the cheese in these in McCain, man, they Perfect. nailed it with this. The mushroom flavor and whatever cheese they have in here is still creamy, still soft. Outside, obviously, again, still crispy. I'll come back for a later. Go to those chicken wings. All right. We've been waiting for these. I have. I've been eyeballing these. Um, and in the you know interest of TV, I'm not going to eat the whole thing and make you guys watch that. But I do want to feel the bake on it. It came out very firm and crisp on the outside. Um, on the inside we have cooked all the way through. Super 370, juicy. 370, 375 for 10 minutes. Mm. Succulent, but it, the, the outer skin, it crisped up nicely and kept all that moisture inside. This is America's favorite, deep fried Twinkies. It doesn't get any better than this. All right, we got a little bit of strawberries to make it look nice. Maybe uh, have a little- Chocolate drizzle. Mm -hmm, chocolate drizzle. Oh, this is very crisp on the outside. When we put them in there, I thought they were going to be a little more flimsy. And what do we think? Now I know why they make millions of dollars at county and state fairs all over the world. The outer breading is still very firm, and then the actual Twinkie itself is still soft inside, and it warmed up that cream nicely. We had a great time demonstrating the versatility of the MTI 10X. The small footprint, no bigger than a mini fridge. 
the versatility of what it can do for you and your actual company. You can find out more about this product and this company at the PMQ.com or best, where you else? You can check out autofry.com or if you'd like to speak to a representative, get some one-on-one -on -one conversation going, you can call 1-800-AUTOFRY. We're gonna see you guys next time, but until then, what do we always say, Bess? Keep those fryers frying. <laughs>